Yo, what's going on? David Scammer Guy here, Team Eyes Inc. Back again, bringing you guys another video. We're gonna be talking about some of the best hard drives for editing your next project. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. So, getting into it, we all edit, we all have a bunch of space that's used up on our computers. I have iMac sitting up, and it came with one terabyte of storage. And that's hardly enough to keep all of the footage and all of the projects and libraries that I use with Final Cut Pro. So I had to invest in some external hard drives that I can get for a good price and still be effective. So I got about one, two, three, four, and about two more that I don't I have plugged up to the computer right now. Um so these hard drives, these small hard drives, I have the Samsung T5. The SanDisk Portable Extreme SSD and the Western Digital SSD along with the wireless SSD and I'm going to talk about this one specifically in a minute and what I use this for. These are roughly going to run you anywhere between about 80 bucks up until about 100 and 69 bucks to 270 bucks depending on how much memory you want inside the memory card this has 500 gigs of storage this also has 500 gigs of storage this one has one terabyte gigs of storage and the wireless one also has 500 gigs of storage so the cool thing about these drives and what i use these for i use these mainly for the samsung t5 i use this mainly for editing so i would store my files on this drive and then make a library on this file file cut and then i would edit off of this and that makes my workflow a lot faster the same thing with the western digital smaller drive i use this for mini storage and if um this one is already if the samsung t5 is already being used then i'm going to use this one the sandis portable extreme i use this for when i'm shooting on my cinema camera rig and i actually use this because this can take prores files the T5s can't take ProRes files with my particular camera, but this one can, so I use this strictly just for shooting. I may edit off this once in a while, but this is what I use this for. The WD My Passport. This one here is um, one of my better buys for the year. And when I'm on the go and I don't, I don't have a laptop. So when I'm on the go, I usually carry my iPad or the iPad Pro that I use for work. And the cool thing about this is, is that you can take your SD card if you're shooting on an SD card and plug it into this drive, double tap the power button and it's going to load all of the information off your SSD, off of your SD card into the drive and then you can wirelessly connect this to the iPad Pro and if you're using something like LumaFusion, you can use this to edit off. That's clutch and pro. This was before iPad OS came around and this is what I've been using when I'm on the go to edit in the Fusion. It's definitely a good pickup. I think this is on Amazon for about $150 or $170 around that price mark. So definitely if you're looking for something um, wireless and charge wireless, which you can use the SD cards to dump onto the drive and then edit it later, definitely pick this up. Each one of these drives has there are specific reasons of what I use them for. These are also good for gaming. So I have one of these hooked up to the TV in the back on my PS4 and I use it for gaming. For running games like Destiny and um, Dauntless and other games, just the load times can be a bit faster. So I bought two of these Samsungs um, for one for gaming and one for editing. And if you want to increase the speed of your editing, I definitely recommend that you invest in some SSD drives because they come in clutch. The portable is super small. If you compare this to a normal size drive, like I'm gonna take apart the drive right now. This is my lacy, rugged terabyte. Now this just always stays plugged up to the computer because I use this for backup. Um, if you compare this to the size of a normal, is this an SSD? I don't think this is an SSD. But you compare the sizes and you can see like portability wise, this could go in my pocket. I mean, this could probably go in my pocket, but I'll put this in the back part versus this going in my pocket. Same thing with the other set, small, small and portable. Definitely guys, if you 
enjoy this content that I shoot and that I provide to you here on YouTube. Definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. It definitely helps me out in growing the channel and getting a lot further with you guys and bringing you guys more content. So down below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure to leave a comment below so I can shout you out in my next YouTube video. Um, I think that's gonna be it. I'm David C. Cameron, guys, J. Inc., and I'll see you guys in the next one.